Travis Wayne Goodsell, Alma, chapter 32, starting in verse 28. And we're just going to read 28. And we're just going to read till the boob part. Now we will compare the word unto a seed. Now if ye give place that a seed may be planted in your heart. Over the left boob. I'm not sure. Well, I saw humans get struck in the heart, and that wasn't their heart. Picard, <laughs> to take you clear off tangent, saw the episode where he had been taken by Q back in time to the place where he. Uh, was stabbed in the heart, and it's right there in the center. <laughs> and, uh, what was it? Was it a Corsican? But regardless, it wasn't a Kardashian. <laughs> Kardashian of all names. Hilarious. But anyway, I took a big digression there. Behold, if it be a true seed, word or a good seed word if you do not cast it out by your unbelief that ye will resist the spirit of the Lord now, I did the video about tares in which the wayside is casting out the word, refusing to listen. And then the thorns are lies. And the stones are denialism. And so the parable of the evil sower who sowed tares in the vineyard or in the field the enemy that ye will resist the spirit of the Lord do you see the connection here Word, seed, spirit. Behold, it will begin to swell within your breasts. And there are lots of different names for breasts, aren't there? And so, and when you feel these swelling motions, you will begin to say within yourself, it must needs be a good seed, or that the word is good. Word, seed, spirit, synonymous in this allegory, parable, symbolism, it beginneth to enlighten my understanding. And so, you gotta keep reading. You are not done yet. You just started. Feelings are not the seed. Feelings are not the word. Feelings are not the spirit. Feelings are a response. The Book of Mormon is the keystone of Mormonism. It's the founding scripture for the church that Joseph Smith established. This is the keystone doctrine. 
on faith. Without this, the Book of Mormon falls. Joseph's church falls, which means it cannot be tampered with by unbelievers, by those who spread lies, sowing tares in it, or throwing stones at it with denialism. So, how are you supposed to interpret Moroni chapter 10, verses 3 through 5 again, Mormons? You took out manifest the truth. This is science and logic, Socratic methodology. This is not lies of fallacy and denialism of truth. Yesterday, for Mother's Day, I was maliciously attacked by YouTube again. Orders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Again. Now it's only a little past six in the morning, so I've got to keep the voice down until eight o'clock. But I am in a full rage of wrath. I am a religious leader, not because I self-proclaim, but because I have the gifts, I have the accomplishments. They make me who I am, and it is by them that you can judge me, just like Alma said. My channel is a religious channel as a religious leader. I even put on the home page in the about section that that is what this channel is all about. That the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith are the learning of the ancient Jews. And thus, the religion. It is not Christian. It is not another testament of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is Christian creation. Mormons are in denial and lie with tares and stones about the first creed of Christianity that Joseph Smith in verse 19 says is all abominable. Not just the nature and character of Jesus, so that if you just change it to non-Trinitarian, all of a sudden Constantine's creed is true. No, all of it. What Constantine did with the Nicene Creed was called supersessionism also called replacement theology, in which he stole the Jewish religion and changed it to his new Christianity. Stole.
and thus turn the Bible with the Jewish authors into literal history. They're not literal history. Science has made that very clear. And so what Constantine also did is called revisionist history. Starting to get a glimmer of the abomination. Constantine is now rewriting history with his new religion. And thus religiously cleansed the Jews. This is exactly what Brigham Young did to Joseph Smith. Every single one of these represents the replacement theology of Brigham Young. The revisionist history that still continues despite the publication online of the Joseph Smith Papers. The Joseph Smith Papers confirms this is all tears and stones by Brigham. This is a religious cleansing of Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon. And so, on my video yesterday for Mother's Day and if you recall on Valentine's Day this year I was cyber attacked on my laptop with malware and thus I now do videos on this computer And so for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, I'm seeing a pattern. YouTube uses as their excuse to claim porn of my thumbnail picture that quoted Alma chapter 32 verse 28 AI claim or uh, YouTube claimed in an email that their AI algorithm flagged it oh AI is a national security threat. Great. Why isn't our government stopping it? Why did Biden just give Microsoft a big old billions of dollars for furtherance of it? Uh-oh. I see danger alert. It's well established that YouTube's AI sucks. That it is completely incompetent. And shall we go over the list, people? Those of you who've been following me know what list I'm talking about. AI. Oh, right to the page. AI is impaired, disabled, diseased, ill, retarded, mental health challenged, psychotic, psychopathic, mental, emotional, behaviorally challenged, unstable, hysterical, mental malfunction, chemical imbalanced, extremist, radical, deranged, stressed, Moron, depressed, special, criminal, LGBTQIAPO+, that seems weird. K 
because they're anti <laughs> religious extremists, religious fanatics, religious fundamentalist, illiterate, crazy, mad, psycho, schizo, schizophrenic, sensitive, mental problems, cuckoo, needing professional help, unhinged, had to go to the next page, and mental inability. All psychological bullying, name calling, and their AI, the next wonder of the world, fails and is the cause of the fall of man. Here, YouTube is claiming that AI flagged my thumbnail picture. But it gets worse. They also say that a human also verified to ban my thumbnail picture. They sent me the documents, so they can't deny it, they can't lie about it, they sent me the documents. AI confirmed with a human. And if you don't know, because you don't create your own videos on YouTube, just one strike is all it takes, and I couldn't post the other video to explain that I was attacked. So yes, I will be posting it after I do this. With that thumbnail picture. Because what was done, and those of you who saw it, saw it, and are kind of confused. Why is this the thumbnail picture? President Russell Marion, aka Lucifer, baby name meaning Mars. Russell, red, Marion, star of the sea, red star of the sea, Mars. Husband of Venus, symbol of Lucifer, the falling star, the church of Lucifer. Lucifer literally fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy that's in the Book of Mormon to lead the great and abominable Christian Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But that's the learning of the ancient Jews. And so I was denied uploading videos. One strike. I was denied an appeal. See, an appeal isn't just clicking a button. An appeal is actually giving my reasons, and YouTube denied me. I was silenced. I was censored. I was cleansed from YouTube. YouTube has been doing this for years to me. They said in an email, another email, that I have insufficient channel history. I've been doing videos since the first one on July 14th, 2014. I've got thousands of videos. That is my sufficient channel history for my identification.
YouTube rejects that. And thus by rejecting it, that is why I do not get the views equal with Mormons and critics of the church. YouTube documented their hate crimes against me all these years under orders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Because a human verified the documents against me. And we all know that that human is Mormon. Now confirmed as fact. The Mormon YouTube employee that I've been talking about all these years got exposed by YouTube in a document. For his cyber terrorism of supersessionism, of revisionist history to cover it up silencing my voice and censoring me and to religiously cleanse me for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Oh, because of that, I thought, oh, great, I'm now forced into retirement. And so, yes, the book of the church's terrorist plot to overthrow the government, not just America, even, the whole world's governments, but America's first. KKK slogan, America first. I had tossed it over on the, the box there, along with my little reference book for YouTube videos. I was all set to watch the videos that you probably saw the other day. I converted into digital. This was the death threat, remember? I had denialists saying, no, it's not, Travis. You're this long list of psychological name-calling bullying. Nobody believes me. I again produced the results of my prophecies, telling you that things are going to get worse. Not just for me, even though it did to me. But this was why I needed to retire. Because I can't. The church will not leave me alone. They will not grant me religious freedom. Their whole push for religious freedom is a fraudulent lie designed to overthrow the government. Their push for porn is to destroy this government. And sure enough, YouTube. Community guidelines, Travis. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints community. You're in violation by quoting the Book of Mormon. Remember, this is why I don't go to church anymore. This is why I'm not coming back. 
It's actually not. The reason why I'm not going to church anymore is because the bishop out in West Valley said, pull down your YouTube videos because they're going against the prophets. It was specifically the one about Adam fell that man might be. A direct quote from the Book of Mormon and the video was about how it's true. Because notice who's missing. Adam fell that man might be. Who's missing? This is a unique doctrine of Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon, because Joseph Smith confirms it in section 29, verses 36 and 40. Why are you in this church, women? You have the power to destroy this church with protests. To force them out. And you won't do it. You are aiding and giving comfort to the enemy that is seeking to overthrow this government. All of you men who were Boy Scouts, if not Eagle Scouts, you are betraying your country. You had to get citizenship in the nation, didn't you? You are familiar with Article of Faith number 12, aren't you? We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. The law of the United States of America is the United States Constitution. So why the bleep are you helping the church overthrow the Constitution? Because you are the enemy. You are the national security threat. two comments after I saw that after nine o'clock last night after dealing with an incompetent agent I am attacked a religious cleansing to cover up revisionist history of replacement theology the law of sacrifice for Mormons in the covenant path. Protect the church at all costs from prosecution. Let no one dare to molest or make them afraid. Two comments. And wouldn't you know it, enemy planting tares among Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith. wheat because of the enemy that sowed tares among the wheat it's abominable that Mormons don't even know their scriptures let alone Mormonism they are being led as a mob just like those pro-terrorist protesters all over the world the leaders of these protests purposely withhold the information from the suckers and losers who are out there seeking to overthrow our governments, to deny truth, to deny science, to deny history, education. 
sex ed for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints claiming that porn is the enemy. Women are not the enemy. Why are you allowing this, women? Why are you being weaponized by the church to attack other people, claiming that you are evil? That you are a threat and a danger just by your very existence as a female? And you believe this and you go and attack other people? And so Rockopotamus, I'm sure he's a legitimate channel, calls me psycho. I just got released, and this was at 11 o'clock last night, I stayed up late to transfer all the files out, I'm retired again, find out that it's back, and YouTube are just pretending that it never happened. They sent me an email saying that after further review, we've decided that it does not violate our community guidelines. No bleep and bleep bleep. They censored me all day. And then boom. This is how serious they took their error. Their cyber terrorist revisionist history of supersessionism and religious cleansing. And they let this bleep bleep through, not flagging it. On the very video of terrors, nonetheless. A denialist on the video about tears and stones. And so, even worse, on the same video, a guy named Paul, 9120, not 90210. This is a real Christian. But this illustrates what Mormons are doing to Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon. This is a Christian attacking Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon, Mormons. And it's exactly what you do to Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon. He's quoting Galatians, chapter 1, verses 6 through 9. When was Galatians written? Before the creation of Christianity. So who wrote it? A Jew. So what religion is it? The Jewish religion. Which Christ is it talking about, regardless of the name they use for the character? their Jewish Christ, whose name is Emmanuel. But he goes by different names depending on the Jewish author who's telling a different story about the same person for their latter-day Christ. Not Roman period. Moses is their latter-day Christ. The law of the Jews says so. Which means they're telling us that the story of the Exodus is not literal history. 
It's a symbolic prophecy and revelation of their latter-day concept, of their latter-day Christ, whose actual name is He who is from the crossroads of the Sun God at noonday. That's Emmanuel, Sun God at noonday. Crossroads occurs during solar eclipses. Sun shall be darkened. I've been doing all these videos. Mormons missed the whole latter days. Mormons missed the exodus. Mormons missed their Christ. He's the only one who showed, Mormons. Your Jesus didn't show. Christian Jesus didn't show. Islamic Jesus, their Christian too, didn't show. You know them by their failure to produce fruit. You know, the word, seed, spirit. There is no swelling. The only one that produced the baby was the Jewish Christ. Amazing. The Jewish authors were right. And you missed it. But, despite their failure to destroy everything, they're repeating it again this year. Everything is being redone because everybody is not learning from history. And so instead of the MAGA terrorists, it's the Islamic terrorists. with a different presidential leader. <sighs> They're just repeating everything exactly like they did during the Exodus year. And they're struggling because instead of the creeping death of 2020, they now have this cow bird flu. We have the pestilence, those bugs, whatever they call them, out there on the East Coast. They're wrecking havoc this year. So Paul, quoting Galatians, we already know the ending of this. He's replacing the Jews with his Christian abomination. And so... He's using a different translation than the King James Version of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints because all of Christianity knows that the King James Version is the worst translation. And yet we don't change it, despite Article of Faith number 8. Again, this church are denialists and liars about Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. And so we believe the Bible to be the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly. It's not translated correctly. Oh, but it's plagiarized exactly in the Book of Mormon, precisely as it stands in our Bible. Errors and all of the 1769 King James Version of the Bible. And you couldn't get a clue that Joseph Smith is trying to tell you that the Book of Mormon is in the learning of the Jews just like the Bible and so he's trying to tell you the corrections that are needed so charity for example in the King James error the word is agape incorrectly translated as charity so in the book of mormon oh it plagiarizes charity 
and then adds is the pure love of Christ, agape. But they don't use the Greek word. But because of the evils of this church, calling the Book of Mormon literal history, charity has to be the actual translated word from the ancient American Indians who wrote the book. Cows have to revise history and deny science that said there were no cows in 600 BCE. It's actually other than Jaredites. <laughs> Nephi found them already in America. But in the learning of the Jews, it means it's a latter days. So yeah, are there cows right now? Because we just passed the latter days. The latter days are over with. Are there cows? Is the Book of Mormon true? Yep, they're cows. And they've got bird flu. <laughs> it's that easy breezy. You all fell for it. So, here's what Galatians says. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserted, that you so are so quickly deserted him. You didn't even copy and paste it right. Who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to different gospel. Am I? Do you see what he did? This replacement theology is abominable. He thinks that it's Christian. And so he's using the Christian gospel to interpret the Jewish gospel that is being talked about. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. Like Christians. <laughs> but even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, and Christians love to use this on Joseph Smith. <laughs> because again, Joseph Smith's visionary accounts are not literal history, they did not happen. It's the learning of the Jews. <sighs> Contrary to the one we preach to you, but even if you think it's literal history, it's still the right religion of the Jews. <laughs> Not Christianity, which he calls abominable. Do you see the confusion that Joseph Smith is telling you about with Christianity and its creeds in his Liberty Jail speech, section 123? Oh, you never read it? <sighs> Let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. He's twisting the Jewish scripture into Christian to weaponize against me. And YouTube didn't flag this either. After their religious, what is it called again? Cleansing of my channel, of my video, claiming the thumbnail was porn. And Renlund said, all forms of porn are unhealthy. 
Oh, you don't read the church news either, huh? You don't watch conference. You don't go to the church news. What do you do? Why are you Mormon if you don't know anything and you're not even bothering to follow them? You're supposed to be practicing child bride polygamy. And you don't even know that you were supposed to do that. You're in shock. What? What are you talking about? Law of chastity. Hello. It was changed in 2019. You have to obey, remember? Just because they took away the penalties doesn't mean the th knife is gone. It still remains. You have to obey. And since we're on that subject, Nelson, you failed again. Why aren't you obeying your own covenant path and applying the penalty to your failure and thus every single prophet who all have to be in agreement to attack me and reward or punish failure or success. You guys failed because those you ordered failed again. Why aren't you doing it? Nelson, you said you're not afraid to die. Why are you failing to do it after failing numerous times? I'm still waiting. Remember, I'm the religious leader with accomplishments not self-proclaimed titles. It's me, Nelson. You know it. I know it. And I know you know you know I know it. I said it right. Amazing. You know what you need to do. And you're a coward. You're hiding on your deathbed. When Oaks, you know it needs to be done. And then Irene. And then Holland. All the way down the list. You all know. And you are cowards. The parable of the talents, Nelson. You know what I'm talking about. I'm here. So, as you can see, I'm back. And as bullies do, they're going to lie low for a little while, pretend nothing happened, and then they'll attack again in the future because that's their pattern of practice after all these years. Like I already mentioned, they're already attacking me still. My views are still not equivalent with those of my similar videos. See, my channel is not late night comedy, so I don't expect to compete on YouTube with late night comedy. But I do expect the same viewership options that Mormon channels, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and critics channels get. AI will not allow this because AI has been programmed against me and YouTube sent me the document. So yes, I've got some new stuff for you today. As you already saw.